What is up? What is up? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Grease Couch Chronicles. Yeah. Welcome home, guys. <laughs> Welcome home. We're on season three, season three vibes. But before we do get started, I want to make sure you shop Glow Nude. And we want to give a shout out to Magic Mind for sponsoring us for the month of February. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Magic Mind, man. It was a wonderful, wonderful shop. Always yeah. is, but... Now we focused on Glow Nude, you know, mm-hmm, all natural mm-hmm, skin mm-hmm. care <laughs> for, every skin, for every skin. As always, you want to hit us up on our Instagram at glow.nude. Make sure you keep it locked in with us. A whole new exciting launch will be approaching. So keep it locked in. Again, that's glow.nude. Yeah, get yourself ready for the springtime. Let's see what we got here. What's going on? Mm. Yeah, so this dawned on me because I be on TikTok sometimes and um, you know, I be seeing the couple challenges, you know what I mean? Like, like they're just always doing things in that regard. And I was like, do would I know the same things about myself that I knew about my partner? So I was, I was going to ask you, do you know certain things about yourself that, you you know, it would go off on a challenge like favorite color Pet peeves, like off the top of your head, do you think you know that type of stuff? About my partner? No, about yourself. Yeah, I know it about myself. <laughs> no, I'm saying like if someone was to ask ask you, like off the like five you have five seconds, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I would know. What's your favorite food? Boom, five seconds. Patty. Okay, boom. <laughs> 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 now I'm saying it dawned on me that I didn't really know. So I was like, damn. I like, think what it is, is that like we're expected to have this extravagant like rollout on our life when oftentimes our life is just simple. Mm. And that's what it is. Like if somebody be like, oh, so tell me about tell me about yourself. I don't have this big rollout movie production about myself. What Yo. do you think it is with people that like is like that? They think everything like everyone's an influencer pretty much. Right. Like they think that you got to have a whole kick about yourself i think it's the the like i always say it's the error that we're living in now like everybody's somebody you know Mm. what i'm saying look at that girl i don't even be on tiktok but somehow it ventured on to instagram risa teresa risa for risa what's the story whoever she is why did i why who did i marry who the f did i marry Yeah, people are really yeah so now she's signed to one of the biggest um management company ever Mm. so yeah, I, ex- I. Do you know anything about that story? Because I don't really. I know jack shit about that okay. story. Well, uh, all that. I know is that <laughs> uh, all I know is that she uh, apparently married it, married somebody that she didn't know who they were. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, okay. But it's, did he do anything like heinous? Do you know? I guess he wasn't who he says he was. He didn't have the money. He didn't live this lifestyle. Yeah, like a separate life type. He, shit. Yeah, something okay. like that. But um. Not too much on that. Yeah. I wanted what I wanted to say is that like that situation, so many people are becoming somebody because they're telling a story. Mm. So which may not be true. Yeah. So I guess it's just the life that we're living in now, the times that we're living in now. Actually, everybody's just expected to be somebody, and mm. if you're not, it's like, well, is there more? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, is there more to you or your that's story? That's P. That's P. Yeah. Like not. Nah, I'm a um, I'm an average yeah, I'm just, Joe. I'm honestly. as I'm as cut as they come. Like, yeah, I'm not <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, this is what you see, what you get. <laughs> yeah, that was still. kid from Joe. I mean, I would say we probably have a unique story, but maybe your average person doesn't. You know, I feel yeah. like this was a unique story back in 2004 when we came here. It's no longer unique. How, How many, many kids, kids are coming from Jamaica to America now? Come on, yeah. it's a lot. Like they've okay. been there, done that. And okay. the only thing is, is that we we came from the the heat to extreme cold weather in the. But I was saying we went to live in upstate New York, and then we moved again, and then we moved again. So I think the moving around and then having the different experiences kind of molded us to be the p- people we have today. So I wouldn't say people had the exact same experience. They don't have the exact same story. The only thing that differs is that like our parents i guess like the dynamic of our parents relationship which 
created the scenario in the first place. Okay. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So it may not be exactly the same, but I'm sure there's similar stories. Yo, come up here, better life. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm but saying? I'm still. <laughs> no, I'm like, like, <laughs> that's peak, that's it peak. doesn't get much more, you know, than that. Did you did you have a realization as you got older about certain things in our childhood that was like, damn, like you look I, at that different? Yeah, like <laughs> I, I, Honestly, every family has their shit, but I feel like as far as our family, what I don't like is the fact that like you learn bits and pieces and the stuff that you knew when you were younger, you're like, oh, that yeah, wasn't true. It, nigga. It shock. Yeah, like I'm older. still figuring shit out and I'm like, wow, so that was that and this yeah. is that. So it's so about know. trying to move forward, you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter when you're like approaching your your thirties. Like you're matter. so far yeah. removed from. It was just like damn, like damn. It was completely different than what I thought it was. Yeah. yeah. The thing that I saw that was interesting that I kind of I kind of want to touch based on real quick is just that the I saw this story and this lady was saying, if you have narcissistic parents. How do you feel that that didn't that never affected you for you to become a narcissistic child? It would have to. You think so? Yeah, it would have to. Because you see, you know, I mean, someone who cares about themselves in a certain way, it's going to be like, yeah, maybe I should be that way because your parents is your first role model. Mm -hmm. So it's like you mo you model your life off of what you see they're doing. Right. You know, you kind of mirror the same thing. So if you see, a, I guess, a parent, that is dressed out in designer clothes, head to toe. You're like, damn, when I get older, I'm going to focus my money on getting designer clothes because that's what my dad did. You know what I mean? So, of yeah. course, it, it completely affects you. I see it a lot of times with the influencers, too. You got your uh, nine-month-year-old wearing Fendi and shit. It's like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> men's is going to grow out of that. So. Yeah. That's true. But hey. It directly affects you. It's honestly what your child is, childhood is, is being a narcissistic person's kid. <laughs> like you almost don't even have You're your own identity. Of a yeah. That's Pete. That's Pete. You almost don't have your own identity. Yeah. So, moving on. Um, do certain things about? Do you notice that certain things about you translate over into your dream? Like, do you notice it? Like, I'm a very picky eater, right? So lately, you know, what I mean, since I'm I'm doing this whole new thing with my life and my routine, um, I've noticed in my dream that um certain things about my personality translate over like i'm a very like like i'm very picky about my food so like what i noticed was like when i'm in my dream and i'm about to you know what i mean you try to eat something in your dream i notice it's the same thing like i won't eat certain things in my dream that i don't would i wouldn't necessarily go to eat in a real world like yeah. f like my whole things with crabs you know what i mean everybody knows how i feel about crabs so you don't like crabs I don't, it's not like i don't like crabs <laughs> you don't like the work yeah i don't like that whole <laughs> thing you know what i mean well, no, is that? That's P. That's P. So, I saw crabs in my dream, and I immediately was like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, yeah, <laughs> no, thank you. no thank you, no thank you." So, do do you think certain things about yourself translate over into your dream? Um, you know, it's it's crazy because I feel like most of the time in my dream, I feel like I'm the complete opposite of who I am in reality, and I don't know what that means. I feel like. My dream self is the person that I should be, if that makes sense. Because mm. I feel like in my dream, I'm a lot more like... That's P. That's P. There's a lot more spontaneity. There's a lot more like, you know, ex... What, what's the word? What is it? Extrovert okay. likeness. Like, it's who you want to be, maybe. I guess. I don't know. But yeah. as far as eating, I don't really eat in my dreams. Like, I feel like the the times that I go to eat, I wake up. Yeah, it's always funny. Like, I was about to eat something. And it's like. Yeah, I always wake up when I'm about to eat in my dreams. But I feel like that my dream self is the me that's trying to present itself in reality. But I never do. You know, you ever had that dream where you feel like you couldn't breathe? And then you kind of like wake up trying to like grasp for air. 
Yeah, I had a scary dream one time where I was the ground and like people was walking on me. <laughs> <laughs> people were like walking on top of me what? and I'm like yelling and no one was hearing me. No one didn't even look down. They just kept walking and I felt yeah. like I couldn't breathe. That's a sick metaphor. <laughs> yeah, I had one recently. and my, my, my dreams have been real turned up. They've been real turned up lately. I, I love hate it in a way. Yeah. Type shit, so. It's one of those... Yeah. All right. Um, one thing that you could change about yourself. I'm not sure if I put that there, but fuck it. One thing you would change about yourself. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Feel um, free to say nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's one of those ones, you know what I mean? Top I don't of the know. morning. I feel like one thing I would change about myself is the to not hold on like if something i'm the type of person if something pisses me off i'll fixate on that thing that pisses me off until like the next day like physically i'll get over it but it'll still replay in my mind like over and over and over again so i'll still have like a little residue of pissed but i'm able to move on from it but not in totality, if you know what I'm saying. Just lingering on a situation type vibe. Uh, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And it'll it'll ruin my day, in a sense. I feel like a lot of people are like that. You know I mean? We're, um, emotions are very complex, right? So to expect someone to move on from something that affects them emotionally, it's kind of harsh to think. It's like, you think I'm just like a computer where you could just reboot, you know what I mean? So rightfully so, like, you're you should be allowed to just linger on something it's just like we're all experiencing things that we've never like this is a trial for all of us you know what i mean no one's been here before where they could give us the guideline this is what you're supposed to do or right, you this is how you die you know what I mean? <laughs> this is when you die. like we don't know and everybody's trying to make a career out of thinking they know how to do the correct human experience and especially when they yeah that's when they have the tiktoks and the instagram reels oh this is why you shouldn't drink water oh this is why you should drink water this is why drinking water is bad for you this is why drinking water is good for you so, <laughs> this is why you shouldn't eat eggs <laughs> yeah, everybody's pretending they know exactly how things should be but you have no idea so yeah, everybody's um situation is yeah. completely H however you yeah however you handle whatever situation it's completely fine because we're all just trying to figure it's this out and no one should be upset for you for how you react. Just make sure you're not hurting people at the end of the day. Yeah, that's what I always say. <laughs> Just make sure you don't put the pause on anyone. Yeah. For real. And I don't hate kids. The narrative going around <laughs> that I hate kids, right? <laughs> I'm here to clear that up in season three. I do not hate kids, man. All right? I just have strong views about it. But I don't hate kids. If you know, If you know anything about me, you know, kids love me and I love them. You know, I mean, I'm a very <laughs> youth. I'm a youthful person. Is that you know? I mean, I'm a silly goose. So, <laughs> to think that I hate kids is preposterous, bro. <laughs> Imagine that being the narrative everywhere you uh, go. Uh, me? Like, you hate kids, you right? Hate kid. That's that's you. That's you the hate kid. kids. That's the kid hater. I go on interviews. I never stop hearing about it. <laughs> Yeah, why you hate kids? Like yeah, that's it's funny. like you hate kids. I don't hate kids. I actually bro. saw a Seth Rogen interview because he said that he don't want kids because he said parents like having kids just doesn't look like a good time. And I feel like no situation is gonna be a good time all the time. There's no perfect way to parent. There's no per perfect kids. Everybody gets their fair share. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. You it's know like Play Doh. I You're building what <laughs> they're gonna deal with, or Legos, whatever. You know what I say all the time to get through my like parenting life. You know the song that says "Kids, kids are gonna do what they want." <laughs> <laughs> like, Is that I, Reba? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I have to sing I'm that just song. A mom. <laughs> <laughs> I have to sing that song every day because it's. Tiny humans that literally just got here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You're building your experience with them. So yeah. however they are is kind of solely on you. You know what I mean? If you're raising them on the iPad vibes where you're just throwing the internet in front of them, they're going to pick up those things they see on the, the, um, they're the internet. They're going to be whipping a nail. Yeah, they're going to th they're <laughs> think they're Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, try to yeah. mold your child into someone you want to be around. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, because kids. I, I, said, can I put a be meme about like. Bastards sometimes. Your energy being drained, and someone was like, you know, this is this is my kids. Like, you know what I mean? Draining your energy? Yeah, so I'm like, bro, that's. 
kind of your fault still. You know what I mean? These these are your blessings. So <laughs> yeah, treat them I mean, how you want. It's it's you got your good days and you have your bad days. But yeah. at the end of the day, kids are gonna do what they want. They're going to do what they want or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's man. P. That's P. It is what it is. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and take a break right here. This is a beat by me, J. Degrees, season three vibes. Let's get it. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. And get in contact if you want to ask questions or leave a voice message as well. We got that popping. You know what I mean? Look for the link. It's there. Um, <clears throat> It's Women's History Month, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, Women's History, Women's History Month. Month. I found some cool stuff. I can't find the names of, um, to re- reference it, but uh, there was this, this little girl who became the youngest farmer, I think, in one of those states. Um, if you're going to watch the visuals, I'm going to try and find it and put it up. But, yeah, I think there's a lot of strides being made. It was a young black girl as well. So shout out to that, man. Shout out to that. Um, <laughs> nine years old. Nine or six years old. I think it was six years old. I'm sorry. Youngest farmer. That's mad cool, man. Youngest, like, registered farmer. So she's, like, growing crops and selling them and shit like that. So it's, that's just, what was like, wow. Yeah, I Amazing. think that's really cool. Black girl magic. And um, an 11-year-old black girl as well became the first televised competing cowgirl. Cowgirl? Yeah, cowgirl. Yeah. See? Kids can do great yeah, things. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, right? And I'm tapped in. Like, yeah, man. Dude, never, never put that narrative on me. No, <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Never. Shout outs to kids. Shout outs to women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout outs to women. Women's and, History Month, man. Huh? And women's history. So we're gonna keep we're gonna things. keep highlighting them throughout um this month. You know why not? I guess. Shout out to month. shout out to Kelly Rowland in that new Tyler Perry movie. Mia Culpa. Mia, Mia I thought it was a true. Is it? It's a true story. No, right? It's I just, don't know what the hell it is, but shout out to Kelly. I, I googled it like an hour ago. I was like, because people are talking about the movie <laughs> nonstop. But yeah. So I'm like, is this a true story? Because they usually do that with the true stories. So I'm like, but I looked Tyler it up. Perry doing a true story. I looked it up. I don't think it's a true story. I just think the name Mia Culpa. It seems like that's someone who did something. So I was like, oh, uh, okay. But um, it's I don't I'm I'm not gonna, don't take my word for it. But I do not think it's a true story. It's just the the Mia Culpa means something. It's mean it's my fault. So oh. that just it just looked it looked like oh this might yeah like <laughs> is it based on a true story. So yeah, I was just caught up in all that. But yeah, shout out to women. Yeah, shout out to Amen. Kelly in that role. Shout out to Beyonce and her two songs that's making its rounds. Or oh, the cowboy stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cowgirl it's, stuff. It's not country, but shout out to her. <laughs> Everyone's wearing like those hats now. They just know? want reasons to do that. <laughs> I just put one on. I just throw it on. <laughs> yeah, they just wanted a reason. We don't never on. need a reason. We never need an occasion to put on a cowboy yeah, yeah, yeah. hat. It just goes, you know. Just make sure you're wearing boots. Yeah, make, make sure, sure you're wearing those match. those boots. You know what I mean? I kind of want to have a cowboy party for my birthday. Why I'll not? say that and never do. Why not? Let's <laughs> 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 do it. <laughs> you do whatever we want, man. You can do whatever yeah. we want. Uh, moving on. So I thought this was very shocking because cool. being someone, well, I'm in the economics and stuff, and I would think states would be because it's the way you run your state. You want people to come to your state and spend money or come to your city and spend money. Not, so not Miami, with this. Not with this. So I would understand this. This kind of got a little bit of an understanding. Miami is banning spring breakers. I 100% back this. They're putting on rules, curfews, all that stuff, parking, fines, fees. So, yeah, what do you think about that? I back this a thousand percent because people just don't know how to act. It's the same thing you see, like you said, in Mexico. It's the same thing you've seen, like, like in Hawaii. Like, <clears throat> people just don't know how to act. And we don't want you there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and no, I'm gonna lie. it's not everything is about getting sloppy drunk and doing certain things. You know, like certain, the crime rate goes up, the drugs, the, you know, like, un, like called for acts. Yeah. Like, come on, go somewhere I saw the commercial, and I was like, wait, hold up. Is this a commercial? For them to do a commercial? Advertising for you to not come to Miami? Yeah, for them to do a commercial, you know it's serious. You know it's serious. And I've only heard about it. I have went to Miami or Florida to visit family. Um, I don't think I've ever stepped foot into Miami for any type of vibes. 
I've dipped in so and dipped like, out of Miami. I've so, never really yeah, yeah. like. I've never stayed to do what people are doing. So I would understand, and I guess I won't now because there's a ban. If, you're not, if you don't know, look it up. We're telling the truth. And then yeah, we're gonna visual put it learners, up. you know what I mean? You already know the vibes. But yeah. I've never been the type to say, oh, I'm going to Miami for vacay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's never been me. A lot of people do it. I know, which a is weird. Like, it. I'm not going to take a domestic flight. Like, yeah, I've always thought domestic flights are. For fun was kind of like yeah, you know, it's, it's a little weird still, but yeah. hey, I've been to Vegas, you know what I mean. I'm International gonna, me, please. Still gonna visit my cousin L. A. You know what I mean, but that's P. That's P. I don't know about going to Miami, and I don't think I will now. So thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you should just always be mindful of how you are under the influence too. You and know people I mean? are just never mindful. You you would, you would think crazy. right? <laughs> you would think. Where a city has to be like, don't come here. Right. Like, Do not come here. <laughs> that means y'all have been crazy, really awful people. Bro. What? That's really so awful, crazy. man. That's Learn crazy. to control yourself, man. Are you what? serious? For real. Why you can't just go out to dinner and just have a, a, a civilized time? The crazy thing is, if you do that in New York, I don't think the same. Like, they wouldn't ban you from coming to New York. Because New York is a Pandora's box. Mm. It's a clusterfuck of I guess happenings. Miami don't really want that. <laughs> Miami What is, is Miami's goal then? Because if you're trying... If, unless you're trying to ban a GTA. certain type of people. Because that looks very bad for investors. I think Miami's banning the like, little uh, um, 18 to 21 year olds okay. that come there for shenanigans. I feel like 24 and up know what they're doing. In, in in a sense, um, I don't think it's directed to those people. I think it's directed to the the kids that want to have mindless fun and do all this kind of like you know uncalled for acts. So that's P. That's P. I doubt it. They're like shaming or banning investors. Mm -hmm. We'll, and the older we'll, we'll follow the story and keep you updated. They specifically <laughs> said spring breakers stay yeah, in yeah. your town. I was like, what? Stay at your college. It shocked me when I saw that. And I was like, wow. I, I honestly thought it was a, not to go there, but I thought it was a, um, a LGBTQ commercial. When I, <laughs> <laughs> when I honestly, I really did. Cause the way they like, you know, Led yeah. with the opening. Yeah, yeah. Of it, it was very confusing at first. Yeah, so I was like, when they landed, I was like, oh, yeah, they, they I was don't like, want oh. people to come here. Like, <laughs> oh. I've never seen that. Yeah, I thought they were gonna don't add come a letter. to my city. <laughs> like, like, think about that. That's Damn. crazy. It's gotten bad. Well, well, we got the the icing of the episode. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. So we've missed the season. Well, I've personally missed the season. Um, uh, my nephew, her son on the school elementary basketball team yes and um i haven't seen much games so i don't really know what the rules are so it's we had kids. a lot we had a lot to say while we were watching it you know yeah. what i mean um <laughs> this is so much but anyway the wildcats versus the bears <laughs> <laughs> let's start there in a real life situation the bears would win all right yeah uh, a bear is beating the hell out of a wildcat <laughs> But not in this situation. Not in this situation. <laughs> not in this yeah. situation, man. It was so chaotic, honestly. But I could barely follow the game. Yeah. <laughs> They're young, so I get it. You know what I mean? It's not like a real basketball game. But they held themselves together kind of well for a elementary school basketball yeah, yeah, yeah. game. Mm -hmm. But the 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 weirdest thing happened. They weren't able to finish the game. Yeah. Not for any reason that you would think, but only because the other side coach decided to quit. Yeah. Because one of his team, one of his team players got Sad. punched. <laughs> <laughs> the, it, the game was, in their terms, getting aggressive. They yeah. didn't score not once. They had their star player just airing the ball out every time he got it. Yeah. They drive to the mid top of the paint and just throw the ball up and it would air ball. Sometimes it didn't even really touch the rim. The Wildcats were up five in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And with, <laughs> as soon the, as the game with, started. with the aggressiveness of the game, the coach figured it was time to end the game. And they were 30 minutes late. Yeah. I just feel like, so I'm like, what are the rules? Cause what I witnessed is 
<laughs> it's like complete chaos. Um, I feel like the 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 coach just he's a sore loser. Let's start there. It's like a child. Yeah. Why would you end the game like that? Yeah, you're childish because why call a time I and be like, you know what? I quit. Like, <laughs> it's it's just silly. It's real silly. I wanted to see our nephew play. It was ten minutes in, so he didn't really get to play, but yeah. we we're already his team were already up five points in ten minutes. Yeah, he didn't get um, quarters of twenty. Yeah, he didn't get. He didn't even get in the game. I was sick. Like I'm yeah, like, I was there to watch him play. Yeah, season finale, and he didn't even get a chance to play. Sadness, but man. All because of some poor sportsmanship. But I guess this happens in basketball, does it? I don't not, know. not a real game. <laughs> I don't, I don't watch. That's basketball. what I'm saying. I don't want to speak for the rules of elementary basketball games. <laughs> 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 It was crazy. That was man. just really, really interesting. I thought that was lame of him. Shout outs to winning the game, and uh, I don't yeah. know what the results of the season are. But shout outs to the Wildcats. Um, they won three games of the season. So shout out to them. Is there a total amount of games? Because three might seem crazy if there's like fifteen games. No, there, there were. I think there were like from what from February to to March. I think there was a total of six or eight games. Like a little under half. Yeah. Okay. Not bad, I guess. Not bad. You win some, you lose some. Shout outs to winning the last game. Shout outs to not quitting. Don't quit, guys. Yeah, Stick never quit. Through. Never Stick give up, through. man. Gotta get your head in the game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We we had a we had so many jokes, but yeah, it, it is crazy. what it is. It's kids, man. Kids gonna be kids, man. Yeah, kids, kids gonna do what they wanna. <laughs> <laughs> I guess adults too, but yeah. um, you know, let's get to the music take. So um, I'm becoming. A, I'm, I'm taking a liking to this guy, you know what I mean? And um, his most popular song, I think Drake's about to um, hop on the remix. I saw but, that. Um, but but we're talking about Four Brats, you know what I mean? Four Brats, the number four, B-R-A-T-Z. He's the... Yeah, that's that, him. Um, the voice, voice that very, don't match. Very, yeah, his voice is very unique. Um, His videos, he's wearing a ski mask. You think it's going to go one way, but it... <laughs> As soon as the beat drops, you're like, oh, this is an R&B song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's actually really good. Yeah, and um, his latest song, um, it's on loop, man. She Like. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. Um, his, vo- his voice just shocks me because it's so, like, it's high. It doesn't match. He looks like a twin of Lil Nas X. <laughs> he takes his ski mask off. He looks like Lil Nas X. But, I've um, never seen um, him without the ski mask. Is his voice is unique, and you know, I mean, I want to hear more music from him. And what's become a pattern is a lot of these artists they have trending songs, and their songs are going crazy, and they don't have albums out. So, I think it's kind of a thing to not really have an album out, just kind of pump your single and just go crazy with it because people love it, or just put a whole bunch of your singles on an EP. I've always been an EP kind of person rather than a full body of work because I feel like it takes time to lead people to the the big bodies of work such as an album. So yeah. why not just put out an EP That's of P. all That's the P. singles? Yeah. That... I've seen that narrative out to a lot of A&Rs are saying drop an EP, not an album. Yeah. Um, I don't think this generation is an album generation, but yeah. you know who has been like I'm kind of like tuned into his music. I'm curious now. Um T.I. son Damani, I think his name is. Is the that one, the crazy one? The one that, uh, no, no, on not business. the one with the big teeth. But <laughs> with the veneers? The, the one that, um, the one that looks exactly like T.I., he raps like a J. Cole, like a baby J. Cole. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's, he's shout really good. Um, so shout out to him. I'm interested in hearing more. Like, mm-hmm. I like the fact that his music is not similar to his dad's, but it's, in a sense, conscious music. Like I said, he's similar to J. Cole. He there's a place for that still. People might not think, you know, everything is all turned up but there's a place for conscious music still. Yeah. And so I, I rest with that. Sick, it's interesting. So Check him out. And with if you're on the East Coast, with the weather being like this, you know, lack of sun throughout the day, make sure you get some vitamin D. You know what I mean? In all seriousness, you know what I mean? Get some vitamin D because not as much sun so yeah gonna get sick a lot of my friends are getting sick 
Sounds yeah, like I'm scary. getting sick too, but it's scary out here. Yeah, so make sure you get some vitamin D. You know, Tune into Magic Mind. Now's the perfect time. Yeah, get some Magic Mind still. Still, you know, want to support those guys. They're doing great things. So yeah. <laughs> that being said, make sure you shop Glow Nude. Make sure you shop Glow Nude. Make sure you shop Glow Nude. Yeah, man. Follow us on Instagram at Glow Nude. Always skincare mm-hmm. for your skin for every skin. Why mm-hmm. would you not? Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. As always. And babe. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's Pete. That's Pete. You think you might not have to say that. But yeah, you but you do. That. You know, you do. Because people are inside and they're like, you know, I didn't go outside. So maybe I don't so need I'm, to shower I, today. I, I, I can skip I'll, a shower. I'll shower tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Nasty butt. <laughs> Make sure you take a shower. You know yeah. what I mean? And as always, reward ourselves. Reward everyone outside. Be safe out there, guys. Peace.